off now. Now, in a moment, we've got a very special guest coming in from the world of Doctor Who. And because of that, we're not going to be showing you how to make the inside of the TARDIS until next Wednesday's show. So in the meantime, why don't you just add the finishing touches to the outside of the TARDIS? And if you need any more details about how to do that, do check out on the website. And make sure you check out Doctor Who this Saturday. I'd like you all to put your headphones on now, please. Oh, children, the things you will see. The time has come, my brothers. Today we shall become gods. <laughs> what is going on? It's the children. They're doing something to the children. Who's she? Rose, Sarah Jane. Sarah Jane Rose. Hi. Nice to meet you. Allow me to introduce K9! I saw things you wouldn't believe. Try me. Mummies. I've met ghosts. Robots. Lots of robots. Slovene in Downing Street. Daleks. Met the Emperor. Antimatter monsters. Gas mask zombies. Real living dinosaurs. Real living werewolf. Big Loch Ness monster. Seriously? Just like Rose Tyler, Sarah Jane Smith shared loads of adventures with the Doctor back in the 1970s. For three years, she helped him to fight monsters like the Daleks, Cybermen, Ice Warriors, and Zygons. Good dog. The robot super dog K9 was another of the Doctor's faithful companions, and he too battled with evil aliens and terrifying creatures alongside the famous Time Lord. Then, in a special Christmas adventure, the Doctor made a present of K9 to Sarah. And now, Sarah and K9 are back! And guess what? I think they're about to arrive in the Blue Peter studio! And here they are, Sarah Jane Smith, also known oh, as Liz Sladen, and uh, K9 as well. Hello, guys, welcome to the studio. Thank you, Gethin. I've got a new friend here. Great, well, I better take socks off oh. you there, thank you. Oh, hello, hello K9. K9, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing very well. Nice to see you, Master Gethin. Hello, oh. Mistress. Hello, K9. <laughs> And wow. I think poor Sox didn't like being in the TARDIS. He didn't know where we were going to land, did you? Hey, Sox <laughs> is fine now, no problem. Brilliant stuff. Well, it's great to have you in the studio. Thank you. What was it like going back to Doctor Who after such a long time? Well, it was a long time, but it wasn't scary because the meeting that I had with the creators of the new programme, they were on the same wavelength as to where I thought Sarah Jane would be now. Um, I left Sarah Jane a great many years ago, but she never left me mm. because we have the videos, the DVDs that I, I, I voice, and I have um, mail still coming through the door. And people saying, oh, where would Sarah be now? What would happen? What would she be doing without the doctor? So it was scary in one way, but in another way, I felt very supported. I felt very safe. Yeah. Now, Kanan, have you changed at all? A little bit of rust, a little bit of denting, but apart from that, I am fully functional. Well, that's He's good to hear. That's yes. good to hear. <laughs> what, what was it like playing such an important character on Doctor Who? Well, Doctor Who now, it's gone past cult. I think it's tradition almost, um, very like Blue Peter. Mm. And you, you, you can't open a newspaper sometimes without someone saying, oh, it's as large as the TARDIS, and it's like the TARDIS inside. And I, I just think I'm so fortunate to belong to, to such a, a programme. I would defend the programme to anyone. Mm. I think it's wonderful that a new generation are seeing the programme You don't need now. to, it's great. Really and in fact, I had the opportunity of travelling down to the set of Doctor Who. No. Because I'm playing a Cyberman. It was an unbelievable place and quite creepy as well. Were you ever scared on set? I have to admit I was, yes. Really? Yes. Well, you do your homework, don't you, like you do, and you learn your lines, and then when it comes to record time, you sort of take that leap of imagination, that leap of pretense, and it's a wonderful leap to take on Doctor Who. There's no other programme yeah. like it. And there was a moment, as Sarah, when I saw Davros on set for the first time, and Michael Wisher was playing Davros, and I, I think it's a wonderful performance. My creature showed a natural desire, an instinct to destroy, and you interceded! You will be punished for this! Although it's in a mask and sitting in, in a Dalek bottom, the shiver. Oh, K9, did he you shiver? He makes some funny noises, doesn't he? Shiver, I shiver too, back. mistress. <laughs> yes, you agree. That's Certainly. why we get on so well together. <laughs> <laughs> so how has uh, Sarah changed? Because she's older and she's lived more of life, when she was with the third Doctor, she was a journalist. I'm a journalist. Sarah Jane Smith. You realise this is a very dangerous place to be in? Well, I can't help that. I'm stuck here now. 
journalist. She's still a journalist. Mm -hmm. She's still very forthright, very go-getting, very inquisitive. But you see, the fourth doctor left her on Earth, and I think although she wanted to return to Earth, she thought he might come back. He sent her a present to K9, but he never sort of made an appearance again. Where are you from, K9? From the doctor. From the doctor? Affirmative. Oh, you can't mean well, the doctor. My precise meaning, mistress, a gift to you. Oh, doctor, you didn't forget. And I think she thinks, well, why did I experience all that thing with this amazing character with two hearts and go around time and space? And you think, well, who can I talk to that about? No one will believe me. I'll, you know, they'll think I'm mad. Mm. And I think I... she needs that um, to see him again. Yeah. Mm. And uh, she played alongside six doctors, all in all. Yeah, I think she did. What does she think of doctor number 10, David Tennant? <gasps> No, that'll be telling. Well, I will tell. Um, <laughs> well, he is the new Doctor for a new generation. And I think to be Doctor Who, not only do you have to be a good actor, but you also have to have that little extra charisma, yeah? And I think David's got it in spades and a new generation, so I guess he's the cool Doctor. He's fantastic. What does Sarah think about Rose? Oh, I think Rose is um, a shock to the system. I mean, I think... Sarah always knew there were other companions before her with the Doctor. But I think to actually experience it and see it, not only is she seeing the Doctor after all these years and also a Doctor that's regenerated, mm. you know, that's quite something to take on board. I think, um... Canine's gone for a walkabout. I think Canine needs, needs a little it's outdoor off. exercise. Canine, come back, I want to talk to you. <laughs> he I'm doesn't coming in a moment. Good, good, good. <laughs> not only the Doctor knew, but, um... Rose as well, and I think there's a great deal of... She says, well, I'm, I'm the older person, I will be calm, I will take this on board. Mm. Um, you know, I won't get the sparring gloves out too soon, but I think there's a great deal of proprietorial, you know, jealousy. He's mine. Mm. No, he's not, you see. <gasps> oh, it's going to be good, He's no it? one's, he's an alien. Yes. Hey, K9, what's it been like seeing your old master again? It was very pleasant. <laughs> a most successful regeneration, though he did take his time. Yes, he did, he did. And you travelled through time and space with the fourth Doctor. Now, he loved jelly babies. What's your favourite treat on Earth? I have no favourite treat on Earth, but trillions of computer bites and plenty of challenging data. And a laser blaster as well, is that right? A laser blaster, affirmative. So can we look forward to some more techno tricks in this series of Doctor Who? Tricks unnecessary. <laughs> However, I am not at liberty to say what defensive capabilities I shall engage. You will have to watch. You will not find me ineffective. They always say that. Yes. Canine, the Doctor, everybody. Well, well listen, Canine, I've got some uh, people to meet you. I've got my, some of my very own canines to say hello. Hi. Lucy, Mabel. I Lucy and Mabel to come and meet oh, Canine. Oh. Say hello, Canine. Oh, what do you think of that? Most satisfactory. <laughs> Great stuff. Identified as friends. <laughs> <laughs> Great stuff. And we've got some very exciting news for you Doctor Who fans now. Up for grabs are 50 DVDs of the Genesis of the Daleks, signed by Liz herself. And all you have to do to win one of these is log on to the Blue Peter website. All the details are there. Liz, it's been great meeting you. Thank you so oh, much for thanks. coming it's in. It's been today. a real treat, Gethin. Hasn't it, K9? Affirmative, mistress. And don't forget, watching mode is imperative on Saturday at 7.15. And I know I'm looking forward to it. And also to tomorrow's Blue Peter.